This video is brought to you by my ebook, Texting Women Like a Boss. The link is in the description. This guy commented under my video, three things that she's feeling when she ignores you and your response when she pulls away. And he says, but what do I say if she asks me why I haven't been responding? Won't she think I moved on despite uh, I am so hung up on her? He says, the only real only realized I haven't broken down from her four days of no response is because I'm a mechanic and it keeps me busy because I'm learning dawn to dusk. Uh, as soon as I put the wrench down and punch the clock, I'm back to being miserable again. Thinking of how I caught feeling so bad this girl and she doesn't even realize it. Well, she, she, she definitely knows. She definitely knows because based on just how you're talking in this message, she knows that you're obsessed with her and women don't like that and they get turned off very easily. He says, maybe she does from the way I talk to her. Yes. He says, I'm not perfect. I'm just a laborer and I'm limited in what I can do. Some people will laugh at this, but I'm in Boston. She's in Minneapolis, Minnesota. That's far. Uh, being this obsessed with a woman that is long distance, unless she's planning to move towards you, this is honestly a waste of time. Like across the board, the majority of long distance relationships do not work out unless one person is trying to make it a goal to move towards the other one. He says, uh, I'm hopeless. Perhaps on my end, I have the willpower to make this work if she's on the same page. That's the thing. Dating is a two-way street. So if she's not putting forth the same willpower, then all your energy, even if you're showing it to her, is bullcrap to her because she doesn't care because she's not putting the same energy forth. He says, other than that, I feel hopeless lately. I did get a text back after four days just now, but I don't know if I should even open her message, leave her on read and act like I was too busy. I just don't have that experience. So here's the thing, right? First of all, to answer his first question, uh, what, to, what to do if she asked why he hasn't been responding. Well, most women I found uh, do, don't do that. Most women, if they hit you up and you don't respond, they're usually not going to be hitting back like, hey, so you haven't talked to me in a few days. What's going on? Like, that's the thing that guys put in their head thinking that, oh my God, if I do this thing, I don't want this horrible reaction to come from her. But the fact is, she's not reaching out to you that frequently. So you should not give a crap about what she thinks. Like, if she decides to text you and you decide to leave her on red for a couple of days, well, she left you on red for four days. You should not care, right? But more to the point, the fact that it's gotten to this point, it shows that you ultimately have put her on this high pedestal and that you're overly obsessed with her. And when women start to feel like a guy's overly obsessed with them, it puts them on pause because it puts their, their safety at, th at, at danger. Because if you're a guy now that's constantly texting her and can't stop being around her, that shows a level of obsession that could lead to dangerous results. And there have been plenty of cases where guys get obsessed and end up unaliving women. So women have this thing in their head subconsciously like, oh, my God, he's being too obsessed. I don't know what this is going to lead to, but I need to back off. And more importantly, I need to test to see if I don't respond to him for a few days, how is he going to react to me? Is he going to be patient? Is he going to be mad at me? Is he going to lash out? If so, I need to see that by pulling away. Now, when you don't do that, then they'll do what this woman did, which is come back to you after four days like, hey, what's going on? How are things with you? To see if you're going to, the first text you send back to her is going to be you lashing out at her. And so this is where I would err on the side of, you know, you'd be patient, maybe like wait a day and then say, hey, so-and-so doing great, blah, 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 blah. How are things going? Now, it sucks because, with this guy because he's doing this long distance. And I would say if, if she was in the same town to try to set up a date, but that's not possible. And I've talked to him the show before, too, about how, like, I think partly long distance relationships, guys set them up because it's an easy out. They don't have to do any actual work to try to, like, get that woman to see them or, or meet them in person. And it's a cop out. It's, it's a chicken way thing of doing things. Like, again, unless there's a plan in motion where you're going to move towards her or vice versa, then this whole thing is a waste of time. So I would say you have a texting pen pal. Congratulations. Try to keep that up as best you can, but also talk to other women in your area that you might have an actual shot at dating.